Soren is arranging six colored blocks in a row. There are three identical green blocks, one red block, one blue block, and one yellow block. The expression that Soren could use to calculate the total number of different possible arrangements of the six blocks is. So this is where we use the fundamental counting principle. We have six colored blocks in a row. So by default, that's six factorial ways that they could be arranged. However, we notice that the green blocks are all the same. They're identical. So to take this into account, we have to divide by three factorial. So the answer is six factorial divided by three factorial C. A magazine publisher is planning a photographic layout of 12 different outfits and possible by containing one shirt, one jacket, and one pair of pants. If two different jackets and two style of pants are used for the photographic layout, then the minimum number of different shirts required to show the 12 outfits. Okay. So what are we, gonna, what are we being asked here? So we have 12 different outfits. And how did we arrive at the, at the conclusion that there's 12 different outfits? Well, because we got it by saying there's two different types of jackets, two different types of pants, and a certain number of different types of shirts. So two times two times something equals 12. That's pretty simple. You just take two times two times x equals 12, Divide both sides by 4, x equals 3. So the answer is 3. Is 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Answer 3. A particular school generates student identification numbers using the following rules. The first two digits are the last two digits in the year starting, starting grade 1. So 2009, the first two digits are 09, 2010, the first two digits are 10, etc. The third digit in indicates that the student's gender, one for male, two for female. The remaining four digits are any whole number from 0 to 9 inclusive without repetition. So there's 10 digits, 0 to 9, and it says without repetition. So once the digit's used, it cannot be used again within those last four. So the number of different ID cards that are possible for students who started grade 1 in 2002 can be determined by using the calculation. Okay. Okay, so if you started grade 1 in 2002, your first two digits are determined for you. The, the first two digits are 0, 2, and that's, that's the only possibility. So we start with 1. One possibility. The third digit because there's two genders, there's two possibilities. So the next the next multiplication is two. And then Oh no, excuse me. The way this question is worded is a little bit strange because the first two digits are determined for you. So the first digit's determined, the second digit is determined, so it's one times one. The third digit is that there's two possibilities, male or female, so it's a two. So one times one times two, and then the next four digits is 10 times nine times eight times seven, because there's no repeating digits. 10 possibilities for the first digit, then 9 for the next one, 8 for the next one, 7 for the next one. Uh, yes. So it's 1 times 1 for the first two digits because they're predetermined. Then it's 2 because there's two genders. And then 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. The answer is A. The four-digit security code for Marine's old bank card allowed the digits 0 through 9 inclusive without repetition. Marine's new bank card requires a four-digit security code that, in, that consists of the digits 0 through 9 inclusive. 
with repetition allowed. Note, both security codes can start with a zero. Compared to the four-digit yeah, four security code for Marine's old bank card, there are how many more four-digit security codes available for her on her new bank card? Well, step one, calculate the number of possibilities for the old card and the number of possibilities for the new card. Okay, so for the old card, remember that it said <coughs> that there's a four-digit security code with the digits 0 through 9 without repetition. So you cannot repeat digits. So first digit, 10 possibilities, then there's 9 possibilities, then there's 8 possibilities, then there's 7 possibilities. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 is 50, 40, 5,040. The new card, you can repeat digits if you want to. So there's 10 possibilities for the first digit, and then 10 for the second, then 10 for the third, then 10 for the fourth. So there's 10,000 possibilities under this new system. The difference between the two, 10,000 minus 5,040 is 4,960. So 4,960 more four-digit security codes under the new system compared to the old system. There are 14 students, 8 boys, and 6 girls who belong to a particular school's badminton club. Their coach randomly selects 2 boys and 2 girls to practice together. How many different practice teams can be selected? Okay, so... There's 8 boys, he's going to select 2, and there's 6 girls, he's going to select 2. There are 8 times 7 equals 56 possible ways of selecting 2 boys. Because for the first boy, there's eight, eight possibilities. For the second boy, there's seven possibilities. But since it doesn't matter which order you selected the boys in, or which order the, the coach selected the boys in, they're actually 56 divided by 2 factorial equals 28 possible combinations of boys. Because if you picked a particular boy first, and then a particular... A different particular boy second that's the same combination as picking the second particular boy first and then the first particular boy second so that's why you have to divide by two factorial to account for the repetition so the true number of combinations is 28 same thing with the girls you have six six choices for your first one five choices for your second one but the combinations are the same if you switched up the order. So there's six and five, 30 possible ways of selecting two girls, but since it doesn't matter which order you select, selected the girls in, there are 30 divided by two factorial equals 15 possible combinations of girls. So the true number of combinations for girls is 15. Hence, there are 28 times 15 equals 420 total combinations for the practice team. So that number of 420. C, 420. A local restaurant offers milkshakes in 20 different flavors. The owner has decided to offer customers the choice of blending two different flavors together to create more flavor options. The total number of different possible two flavor blended milkshakes is. Okay, <clears throat> so for your first flavor, it's very similar to what we just did in the last problem. For your first flavor, you have 20 choices, and for your second flavor, you have 19 choices, because you can't choose the same flavor twice. Mixing them would just make the same flavor, so that's pointless. They're asking for two flavor blended milkshakes, so it's 20 times 19. But remember, the order does not matter. If you choose chocolate first, then vanilla second, or vanilla first and chocolate second, it's the same It's the same two flavor blended milkshake. So to account for that repetition, we have to divide by two factorial. So our answer is 20 times 19 divided by two which is B190. 
190 is the answer. In the Braille system, each Braille container consists of six dock positions. So this is sort of like, you know, a communication system for the blind where they sort of feel dots with their fingers. Dots can be raised to represent letters, digit symbols, or common letter combinations. The Braille character for V is shown below. Dots that are raised represent by solid dots. The number of different Braille characters that have four of the six dots raised. Okay. Because there are six spots that could that could be raised, there are six times five times four times three equals 360 possible ways of selecting four raised dots. However, since each raised dot is the same, we must account for the repetition by dividing by four factorial. Right, because a raised dot is a raised dot is a raised dot. It doesn't matter if you, um, let's go back to the, the picture. It doesn't matter if you raise this one first, then this one, then this one, then this one, or if you did this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and so on. Um, the end result is all the same. So you have to divide by four factorial to account for the repetition. So our final answer is actually 360 divided by four factorial, which equals 15. So the answer is 15.